Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to take a look at the Shadow Pokemon in Pokemon Go. Every single last stage evolution that is Shadow currently in Pokemon Go we're going to have here today and we're going to rank them all. We're going to rank them both for the PvP side as well as for the PvE side as well because I saw a lot of people actually being asking for this kind of stuff online. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel feel free to do this as well as we're going to start right into the tier list. We're going to actually have a lot of Pokemon that are kind of being in the must have here with first the Venus are very great in the current Great League meta, as well as you're going to have the Charizard, which is also a must-have as a Shadow variant for the Go Battle League for both Great as well as Ultra League. We're going to have the Blasters next for the good to have tier. This Pokemon is actually fairly decent as well, but a lot of times you kind of want to like to have the normal variant actually. So it's definitely a solid pick though to have for the um, Great as well as the Ultra League. Beedrill is a spicier pick nowadays. It's not as great anymore. I also don't really think that the X to the buff really helped it. Also, of course, only for the Go Battle League. Er Eradicate needs something like a Body Slam to be decent. Well, the Alone Eradicate actually also kind of needs something like Body Slam to be decent because right now you would actually rather run the Alone variant as a Purified variant because you're going to get the move return, which is better for it. We're going to have next one here. This Pokemon is completely trash, sadly, so we don't really going to use it here. Sandslash normal variant is a spicier pick with the shadow variant definitely a cool one though but like it's more of a spice pick not really that matter must have is the Alolan Sandslash great for Ultra League as well as for the uh, um, yeah Great League as well both of them shadow variant really good and we are, yes we're rushing through them because there are a lot of them we're going to have Nidoqueen next definitely something that's good to have not as great anymore again also only really for the Go Battle League there for both great as well as the Ultra League spicy or like I uh, maybe f with a move update Nido King could do something as well but right now it's just not as great not the best charge or fast moves for this Pokemon sadly maybe eventually good to have is for sure the Alolan uh, the normal nine hits here yeah, normal nine hits is definitely a strong Pokemon to have as a shadow variant for the great as well as for the Ultra league but mainly for the great league Alolan nine tails kind of fell off recently so it's going to be awesome the good to have here a little bit higher most likely than the other nine tails but both of the nine tails variants are very cool to have as a shadow Pokemon Next one going to be Wild Plume, and a Wild Plume is sadly trash at the current time, and I don't think it's going to change anywhere soon. Same kind of goes for Venomot. You could argue that maybe eventually it could get better. I gotta put it into maybe with a move update, but like it's it's not it's it definitely has a little bit more potential than something like a Wild Plume. The Duck Trio, sadly, both of them don't really have play at all. They're both going to be trash. Same goes kind of for the um yeah, what's called I actually forgot the name of it. The Persian for the Persian, not really that great. A spicier pick is going to be the Golduck. Has some potential, some limited matters for the um yeah, for the great as well as the Ultra League, but it's not the greatest one. We're going to see here next one going to be Arcanine. Needs a move update. I made a video yesterday about potential move updates for the fire typing, which would really benefit this Pokemon as well. So I would think that this Pokemon has a lot of potential in the future. Next one going to be the Polyrath, a Pokemon that got a community today recently with counter it's way way better than the Go Battle League for both great as well as the um, yeah Ultra League and I feel like I actually would put it into low must have, uh, like it is really high ranked in all the leagues so I kind of have to put it up there, has a lot of potential. Alakazam is a Pokemon that you could use for raids so um, yeah I could put it into like good to have but it's like fairly low for that on four raids, they have Mewtwo which is coming up later which is going to be better. Um, next one is going to be completely more for raids here right now. But champ is still used in the Ultra League as well as in the Great League for the for like Go Battle League. But for raids, Machamp is one of the best Pokemon there. So definitely top tier Pokemon to get for raids for sure. Next one going to be something that is I would say actually good to have with the um, Victory Bell. Very very toxic Pokemon for the Great League for Go Battle League. Definitely something strong. Next Pokemon, I sadly have to put in Trash. I don't think either of them are really that great. I guess I could put the Alone variant into Spicy. I don't think that the Golem ever going to be good even with a move update. So we're going to put them here. Um, slow Bro, Slow Poke, and eh, no, also... Slowbro, yeah, Slowbro here is going to be also more of a spice pick, sometimes half decent in like some limited metas, but I don't really see this Pokemon being any way better either. Honestly, good to have is the normal Mug, a really cool Pokemon for the Ultra League. I really like the Shadow variant for the Ultra League, very cool Pokemon. Same goes for the Alone variant, both of them are kind of in the good to have tier for sure. 
sadly trash just because of that product and because other Pokemon are better is going to be the Cloyster. I wouldn't really put it even at Spice because it's just like, it's just way worse than other Pokemon that have the same typing. Hypno is a cool Spice pick. It's not really that needed in nowadays meta. Back in the day it was really good for the Go Battle League, but nowadays it's not as great anymore. We have Electrode, which is also a Spice pick for sure in a few limited mass. It's a really good Pokemon to use. A very great save up in a few limited mass, so cool there. Sadly, the Alolan um, variant of of the executor as well as the executor are trash pokemon right now i don't think it's going to change same goes for the i guess this maverick i feel like has some potential it would have some move changes because actually has really decent stats but needs something like i don't know there, there's some maybe it's an updates to its signature move something like this i think it even learns some more signature moves but i'm not sure about it so definitely something that could have some potential Something that's good to have is the Shadow variant of the Alolan variant of this Pokemon, though. I think it was only available through Evolution before, like for a special event. Maybe it comes back eventually, but right now, definitely a cool pick for the Great League and definitely good to have as well. Moving on, we're going to have the both Hitmons, which are both Spice picks for the Great League as well as for the Ultra League. Neither of them are really that great, but also neither of them are really that bad. We have the Shadow variant or Weezing. I didn't even know that this was or this one was available, but I guess it was. And I would put it right now into maybe with a move update because I think the stats are fine but needs a better fast move and a little bit of better charge move so maybe this Pokemon has some potential. Pinsir is a cool one especially also I think for raids it's one of the best um like back type raid attackers so for like if you want to fully power one up it's definitely totally fine for raids if you need back typing but also for great and ultra league it's a very spicy pick so I would put it up here. Cool pick though definitely is something interesting. The Gyarados is definitely something that I would recommend you to build if you have a cool one. It's cool for the Master League as well as for the Master League Premier Cup, but it's also a great water type raid attacker. So, like, if you need that one, it's definitely something that you can run as well. A solid raid attacker for sure as a water type with waterfall as well as awkward tail, I guess, or maybe even hydro pump. Not too sure about this. We're going to have a Lapras next, which is a good to have Pokemon for sure. It's not like top tier, but it's decent for Great League as well as Ultra League. Kind of lost a little bit of potential recently, but like, it's still a solid pick. I would put the uh, both of the fossils kind of, I guess, like this one definitely into trash. You could argue that you put the um, yeah, rock type uh, Aerodactyl a little bit higher, but yeah, it is like very glassy. It's a decent rock type Pokemon, but there are better ones as well as for raids. Like you could put it a little bit higher, I guess, maybe like. Maybe good to have like low tier somewhere here for um, raids only though, like this is only for raids for sure. Snorlax is a really good Pokemon to have, I would actually say must have for Ultra League, especially for PvP, also for the Master League, a really cool Pokemon. For Great League it's kind of getting um, outclassed by Lickitung, but otherwise for Ultra League as well as for the Master League, very cool Pokemon to use as a Shadow variant especially. Then we're going to have Articuno next, which sadly is just Spice. Same kind of goes for Zapdos. Zapdos, I mean, actually, Zapdos is good, to, like something that's a more of a must have if you have a decent one. But it's mainly for raids. Uh, for raids, it's one of the best raid attackers. So, definitely something that you can run there as well. Of course, legendary Pokemon is a little bit difficult to power up there. And Moltres is also something that you kind of really want to have for raids, but only for raids, not really for PvP. But it's both great as a fire type attacker as well as a flying type attacker. Both of them really, really decent, especially as flying type attacker, though, with a ring attack as well as the sky attack which is a legacy move this pokemon has a lot of potential so maybe even build it for master league if you have a decent one from the raids that we currently have available as well shadow raids are currently available next pokemon one of the top tier pokemon which is good in everything i actually have to put it into the first slot right now dragonite is good as a raid attacker one of the best ones it's good as a master league pokemon it's good as an ultra league pokemon and it's good as a great league pokemon it's literally perfect and like preferred as a shadow variant for everything so definitely something that you would should build if you can build it very cool pokemon here next up going to be meganium sadly currently just a spice pick i would not really recommend too much especially after earthquake or nerf for the go battle league not too great Typhlosion is also more of a spice pick. It's it's okay as a raid attacker, so I just gotta put it also into spice. It's it's definitely a little bit more usable than other Pokemon here. Uh, but yeah, like Typhlosion is sadly not as great. We're going to have for Relegator next, which is actually good to have for a raid attacker. Again, this is raid only. Please only use it for raid. Not good for PvP it's, itself, but it's a really decent raid attacker if you need. Uh, a water type raid attacker. There are def better ones as well than them, but like definitely something usable, so I'm going to keep it at the side. 
We're going to have Lady Bar Nyx or Lady in there. Nyx, which is going to be for me like a spice pick for the Great League so far. You need to fully XL it for the Great League, and um, then still it's a little bit awkward. Kind of got buffed with Aerial Ace recently, but still needs a better fast move to be half decent, but has great stats. Maybe eventually going to be decent. Uh, Crobat sadly got completely screwed over and definitely needs a better move update. Like, give it a ring attack at this Pokemon is decent again for the Ultra League as well as the Great League, but right now it's really, really bad. Z uh, Zatu, like, literally one of the lowest Pokemon here. Really, really trash. Really good to have, though, is Ampharos. Um, Definitely top tier here for Ultra League, especially. Like, it's a fairly decent Pokemon. A little bit worse this season, sadly. So, like, it's not as great anymore, but it's definitely a solid pick. Shadow variant of the Blossom here is going to be also a spicy pick, having access to Leaf Blade, Dazzling Gleam, as well as the Bullet Seed. Makes it a really cool Pokemon for both Ultra as well as Great League, but it's a little bit more of a spicier one. Same goes for the Sudowoodo. I like this Pokemon quite a lot, but it's more for, like, special cups, not really for anything else. Good to have, though, is the Politoed. This Pokemon is really good in the Ultra League as well as in the Great League, especially as a Shadow variant. Literally made a video about it today, so definitely check that one out as well. Jump Love next is good to have, for sure, for Great League, um, but also kind of awkward because like the normal variant is maybe even a little bit better you don't even always want to have the shadow variant because they sometimes kind of want to have the bulk instead cracks i am honestly this season i don't really see too much of it anymore so i would put a little bit lower as well next i'm going to be the slow king which i'm going to put into spice tier as well not as great Next one is going to be also the um, Wobbuffet. And this one, I don't even know how to really rank it because you need the Shadow variant in order for this to be good, but you need to purify it. So do I would put it into like Trash as a Shadow, which I think I have to put, but keep in mind, this Pokemon is decent as a purified variant, just not as a shadow. So like you have to purify it in order to be afford to be good. You need return on this Pokemon. But this Pokemon itself as a shadow variant is bad. Just keep it in mind. Next one, Girafferic is good to have in my opinion. Really cool Pokemon for the Great League as well as in the Ultra League. But also keep in mind that this Pokemon gets another evolution, which is going to be even better than Girafferic. So um Ferrigaraf, I think it's his name. You definitely kinda want to have the shadow variant of this one as well. So definitely keep this one there. Next one, Fortress needs a move update to be decent. This Pokemon could be decent with a move update though, so keep this in mind. Definitely keep it around. Cool Pokemon to have if you ever going to get a move update for this one. Great stats though. We're going to have the Steelix next, which is for sure right now a must-have for both Great League as well as Ultra League. One of the strongest Pokemon since the addition of Breaking Swipe. Then we're going to have next one here going to be Granbull. Granbull is an okay Pokemon for raids as well if you want to fully power it up for the fairy typing. It is cool for the Ultra League as well as Great League, so I'm going to put it as Spice. It's one of my favorite Pokemon to use as a trap with Snarl, but it's decent there. Scissor, definitely a Pokemon that is decent to have. Here, again, if you want to use it for raids, it's definitely one of the best variants there with for the bug typing. Like, really, really good bug type Pokemon there for raids. You can, I think, also use it for, like, the steel typing, but steel typing has rarely really seen. And for PvP, it's decent in the Ultra League as well as in the Great League as a Shadow Pokemon. Shuckle, I'm sorry for all the Shuckle lovers, it's trash. Same as Delibird. Same, sadly, as Skarmory. Well, Skarmory was decent, now it's even worse anyway. But also as a Shadow variant, you never really want to use this one as a Shadow. Houndoom, it is a little bit awkward. This Pokemon is an okay-ish right attacker for the dark typing, especially as a Shadow. So, I don't know, like, it's, 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 it, I would put it into Spice low, my, mainly for, like, raids, though. Like, definitely keep this in mind for that one. King Drop, it is also more of a Spice pick, both for Ultra League as well as for Great League. You can use it. It is sometimes usable, but you also can just use the normal variant, which is better. Same goes for Donphan, also more of a Spice pick here for this kind of meta. And the next one here is going to be the Stantler, which has another evolution. So keep this in mind. Just going to put it into needs a move update because it's going to have an evolution. It's going to be decent eventually. Very good to have is the Hitmon top now after it's getting the move Triple Axel. Very strong Pokemon in both Great League as well as Ultra League. For sure must have. And now we're going to go for another very good raid Pokemon, which is a must have as well. But also see, kind of funny in Great League if you have a Shadow variant for this one. It's going to be the Raikou. 
Um, having access to Volt Switch, Wild Charge, Thunder Shock, um, Shadow Ball, I think as well. Very cool Pokemon, very good for raids. One of the, actually, I think it is the best raid attacker for the electric type, so you have to have it into must have. And for fire typing, I think it's also one of the best fire type attackers going to be the Entei, so I kind of have to put low tier as well for must have as well. Again, this is for raids, not for PvP. Next Pokemon is actually sadly into trash, which is like the last Pokemon of this trio. It just doesn't have great um, moveset. I have to a little bit scroll out of it again. Just doesn't have a great moveset. As well as um, this Pokemon as well, Suicune here, is like kind of a Pokemon that you don't want to have the Shadow variant for the Ultra League either, if you even want to run it at all, because like you kind of want to have the extra book, so that's kind of awkward. Next Pokemon going to be the Tyranitar. I love this Pokemon as a Shadow also for the Master League. It's great as a raid attacker for the Rock typing. Plus, you're going to um, basically have it uh, for the Great League as well for the Halloween Cup, which is really cool. So I like this Pokemon a lot. It's a cool Pokemon here. Shadow Lugia, it is a decent... Um, attacker for the um, flag typing and it's also kind of cool for the master league a little bit worse this time around so i'm gonna put it into like low-ish good tier like because you can also have like the normal variant which i feel like is a little bit better but shadow variant is definitely also sold for master league so definitely something that you can run there but sadly got a little bit nerfed this season so not as great anymore. Next Pokemon going to be the Ho-Oh, which is apparently, especially as the Apex variant, one of the best Pokemon for raids. So definitely something cool there. I have mine built as well. Best one of the best fire type raid attacker. Septile is interesting. This Pokemon is actually one of the best possible raid attacker for the grass typing. So I'm going to put it high as well. As a shadow variant, very, very solid for that one. But it is again more for raids, not for PvP. This one, next one, actually I have to put into the must-have as well is Blaziken. It's really cool for Ultra League as well as for Great League in certain cups as a Shadow variant, as well as a very, very good raid attacker if you want to fully power it up. So definitely both for fighting as well as for fire, but I think mainly for fire it's a really good raid attacker, so definitely cool there. Swampert is one of the best ones as, as well, would put into the second tier so far, because this Pokemon here is also great in both, and actually all leagues for Go Battle League, plus for raids as well, so really good water type raid attacker as well which is really nice to see so really cool here trash pokemon for sure mighty Anna, really really bad shift tree is a spice pick sadly currently not really the best pokemon there gardevoir is actually as far as i know the best raid attacker for the fairy typing so i have to put it high up as well for the must have but like again you kind of want to fully power it up it's also cool for some um, limited manners though for pvp so i guess it definitely deserves one slot here next one explode horrible moveset right now still not great after the astonish buff sadly hariyama it's like a spice pick. It's one of the better Pokemon as well for like fighting damage for raids. I'm going to put it here as well into the spice pick area. Kind of want to put the mainly um, PVE variants on the like on the last few slots for those tiers always because I feel like this is kind of more separating them. Then we're going to have Sableye. It's a cool one. Definitely good to have for the PvP. It's not a must have because Purified is also decent, but I kind of. Yeah, I kind of have to put it high up to be fair. I kind of have to put it into must have as well. Shadow for the uh, Great League for sure. A cool pick there to run. Next one, going to be Morale. Good to have for a lot of limited metas. Definitely cool Pokemon here. Agron, like it is a half decent rock type attacker, but like honestly, I gotta put it into Spice just like for the people that love Agron, but. It's not the greatest one. Manectric itself is actually fairly, fairly strong, but mainly as a Mega and not really as a normal variant. So I will put it into the trash tier as you have to scroll out a little bit more because there are quite a lot of Shadow Pokemon. As we have Sharpino next, which is a very, very attack rated Pokemon. It is not too great in general, sadly, especially after the recent nerf of uh, the Poison Fang. So I'm going to put it into trash. I'm sorry for my brother who really loves this Pokemon. Yeah, like me. Okay, I'm gonna put into Spice just for them, but like, it's it's not the greatest one. Spice is also the Waylord. Actually, used it recently and was a lot of fun in the Great League. So I cannot really. I'm a little bit biased there, but same goes for Camera Up. It's it's just like I don't know. Camera Up needs another move update to be decent. I feel like this Pokemon could be really cool for like a cheaper Fire type charge move or something, which I also put into a, a video yesterday. So definitely check that one out. Then we're going to have the um yeah. I don't, I'm not even gonna say it. We just go and put it down there. It's 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 just trash. We're gonna have the um, Flygon next, which is a cool spice pick to have, especially for limited meta. So definitely something that you can get if you have one. Um, next one is going to be another trash one. Like, 
Cagnia and the evolution there is just it just not really great. The next one is again like something I would more put into the spiced here pick here with the Cradilly. Cradilly is a spicier Pokemon, but you kind of always want to have the non-shadow variant. Non-shadow variant just gives you more bulk. Trash pick is the other um, generation three fossil. It's just so bad, honestly. Then next one here, the I think it's, is it Benant as well in the English variant? I don't know. Like it's definitely a so solid pick for spice, especially for the Great League. Cool Pokemon there. Absol is absolutely trash. Sadly, it's like so so bad. It's, I have to pull it low. Warring kind of got a little bit of a nerf recently again in terms of the usage that I would put into good to have but not great to have. Interestingly enough, Salamence is really good for raids. Like it's really bad for PvP but really good for raids. So like definitely if you have a good Shadow Salamence, it's really good only for raids and nothing else. Well, the Metagross is really cool for both the Mars League, some limited metas in the Great League as well as for raids. So I'm definitely going to put the Metagross fairly high up here as the Reggies are all kind of same spice. Like, it's not great at all for PvP. You kind of want to have the normal variants of this of the Regis, so I'm going to put them down here. Ladias is also not great, honestly. Maybe with a move update, though, if it gets ever Dragon Claw, it would be decent, but, like, not like this. And the Shadow variant of Ladios is a fairly decent um, raid attacker as well for the Moss League, so if you have one for that one, definitely something that you can build, so it's good to have. We have the um, next one here going to be... Honestly, it's, 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 it's just... It's spice, I would say. It's sometimes decent in some limited mass as well. The generation 4 grass type starter Torterra, but it's currently not decent. Maybe with some move update, it could be decent though in the future, so who knows. As we can move on now with Steraptor. Again, more of a spice pick. I guess you can use it though for um, raids as well. So I'm going to put it into good half. It's decent for raids if you want to fully build as a flying type attacker. But it's also sometimes funny for Great League as well as Ultra League as a spice pick. Bibarel is actually usually worse in the Shadow variant than in the normal variant. So I'm going to put it into kind of trash. Honestly, I don't really like it too much. Same goes for Luxray. Luxray is currently not really that decent. Honestly, sorry, like especially after the recent nerf for Spark. Again, nerf for Spark is really only for like those squishy Pokemon. For bulky Pokemon, it's better that Spark does more damage and generates less energy. But for Luxray, it really hurts them. Amy Palm is still horrible Pokemon. We go to have Driftbloom next, where you again kind of want to have the normal variant instead of the Shadow one. We have Miss Magius, which is completely garbage right now. We have Haunch Crow, which is spice, but also half decent for raids. So I'm going to put it like at the end again here. We're going to have Purakli, which is Spice. Very interesting now, as Ariad Ace got buffed a little bit, so this Pokemon might have some play. I have a rank 1 actually that I can build, but I need to get rid of Frustration first. Skunk Tang is a must-have, in my opinion, for the Great League as well as for the Ultra League. It's a very cool Pokemon. Garchomp is a very strong Pokemon as well. Should be one of the best raid attackers as well as for PvP. It's kind of an interesting one, so definitely would put it high up there, especially for raids. Um, definitely cool Pokemon here. Maybe a little bit lower than this, but definitely cool. We have some spice here with Hippowdon. Very interesting Pokemon as well for PvP, both for Ultra League as well as for Great League. But also even for Moss League, you have some potential for like some limited metas. As we have Drapier next, very good say up for the Ultra League. We want to put it into the must-have tier list as well. As well as Obama Snow being a good to have Pokemon for both Great League as well as Ultra League. Not so much for the PvE side as far as I know. As well as we're going to have here, one of the Pokemon that is really good for PvE though, and that's why you're going to have to put it into must-have, is going to be the Weavile, one of the strongest um, attackers for both or the Dark as well as the Ice typing. So definitely something very solid here. And I just realized I forgot about Mewtwo, which I just added to the Pokemon as well, which is of course S tier Pokemon as a Shadow, one of the best Pokemon there. So if you thought I skipped it, no, I just forgot to add it into this one, but definitely one of the best Pokemon that you can have for the Shadow variants here. So I just added it real quick. As we're gonna move on for Magnezone, which I honestly think is really good to have for both the Master League, the uh, um, the raids as well. Like it's one of the best electric type attackers as well for raids. Again, an electric type is something that you fairly commonly use as well, and also like it's just great for PvP in all three leagues as well. So I'm actually gonna put it a little bit higher as like a Shadow variant. Definitely cool both for raids, for Master League, for Ultra League, for Great League. Very strong Pokemon in general. Tangrowth, interestingly enough, which I didn't know before is one of the best um, grass type attackers it's a little bit better even than the uh, septile like it's 
a really good grass type attack as a shadow. It could be cool eventually if it gets a move update for PvP as well. Right now it's not really the best Pokemon for that. Electrowire, actually I have to put it really high up as well, which like a lot of people that only are just in PvP are a little bit surprised, but it actually has some spice potential in all leagues for PvP, but for PvE it is one of the strongest electric type attackers, so like 4 raids, this Pokemon is amazing. We're going to have the um, yeah equivalent here, which is going to be sadly just a spice pick, both for PvE as well as for PvP, the McMortar is just not as great. Next one going to be Gliscor. Gliscor is a good to have Pokemon. I don't know, maybe I actually would put it into must have because with Gliscor you also kind of have Gliger and then Gliger is really good in the Great League. So yeah, like Gliger is really, really strong here. Definitely a solid pick. Definitely has to be in the must have. Must have is also Mamoswine. It has sometimes some spice potential also in the current Sunshine Cup which is running at the time while I'm recording for the uh, limited mouse for PvP, as well as for the mouse click for sure, but it is the best, um, um, what's called, ice type attacker, for sure as well as one of the best, or no, actually also the best ground type attacker, which is just wild for like the normal shadow variants. So that's so, so cool. So definitely one of the strongest Pokemon here. Next one is a spice pick with Porygon Z, very cool Pokemon, but it's just like spice. It's just like literally just for spice, it's not really that great. Um, the next one is going to be the Gallade, which is an interesting Pokemon. You can run it as like a psychic type attacker, but you don't really want to. I feel like it needs a move update again to be decent. Like there are some moves that it might be able to learn, so maybe eventually, but right now not as great. <sighs> Promo Pass is sadly just spicy. You don't really want to actually, actually I have to put it into trash. You don't want to have the shadow variant of this Pokemon. Like the normal variant is usually better for it because you kind of want to have the bulk over the damage output for this one here. So I wouldn't even put it that high. <sighs> Next one is also sadly really trashy, which is the shadow variant of the Dusclops. It's just, or like the Dusk Gnaw here, which is just not really that great. Watchdog, horrible. It's like literally the next Pokemon are all kind of trash. The Sub Striker actually has some potential with some move updates because it has a great move set other than the fast move, but it needs a great fast move like Volt Switch again finally. That would be nice to word. Throw has a potential actually. Really cool Pokemon if it would get in a fast move update, but like right now it's bad. The other one, Sork, is just really, really bad as well. This one maybe also has some potential with Wing Attack as a fast move. The Swanner, like it really needs Wing Attack. Same goes for the. Um, yeah, Amoongus needs a move update to be decent. We have the Galvantula, which is a cool spice pick. The normal variant is usually a little bit preferred, but like, it's definitely a cool spice pick there. We're going to have now, for the second to last one, going to be Golurk, which again needs like a better fast move in order to be really decent. And for the final one, we're going to have the, um, yeah, Ursaluna. Ursaluna is a decent Pokemon in general for some like limited metas or like for the uh, Mass League Premier Cup, but it's not that great. I mean, I would put it still into good to have, but it's like, it just, I don't know. It's it's not as great anymore, but this is going to be my final tier list for all Shadow Pokemon. So, must have tier list. A lot of them are raid attackers as well, which you see mainly at the end there, but also something like Mewtwo for like other metas as well. So, uh, do you agree with my tier list? Do you think it's fine? Do you think there are some mistakes in there? Let me know in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully this helps you to figure out which Pokemon you kind of want to go for for Shadow Pokemon in PvP as well as PvE. And I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, feel free to leave a like and see you then. Bye-bye.